Welcome to my video. In this video, I will show you how to design a simple GUI using App Designer. I will use the graphical interface tool provided by Mathworks to do so. If you want to do it using a script, please do watch my other video. So to start the App Designer, you can either go to the new option here and use this app designer option here or you can just simply type app designer and press enter and it will bring you the it will open the tool where you can do the designing so in the middle part is the way we will design our layout and the left hand side is the widgets options which mathworks provides so for let's design a simple calculator as i did in my other videos so for a simple calculator, I will need a text text box on the top to display my results. So on over here they are providing some edit fields, but I I think I will prefer this text area because I don't want to edit this, but just I want to display my output. And once I have done that, I will like to scale it as per my requirement. And then I give it a value 0, probably right hand side, make it a little bigger, 24, bold or little further bigger, 28, I think I can go to 36, looks better, yes. And now we need buttons for our calculator, so I just bring some button, here one, and I can right click and uh, drag using my mouse. And it will copy new buttons into my layout like this so I will need uh, 10 buttons for my numbers so 6 7 8 it was a little okay I think I need to delete one of these or bring one of these here uh, fine no I will need to put a text correct text for this this is fine so I will do this for one by one for all I can even select buttons from here and four five six seven eight nine and this will be zero perfect now i think i will need few buttons to do some operations so i will do probably something like clear plus minus and equal to so i use this for clear this one for plus I am just using the basic uh, operations, I am not designing a full fledged calculator but once you know the concepts it's, it should be simple. Now let me define the callbacks of each and every button. So to define the callback you have to go to this callback uh, tab here and you have to define write the function name what you want to name it, the callback function. So I will name it like button press. So whenever the button is pressed, please call this callback and I press enter here. So you will see in the text view, in the code view, it will automatic, automatically create that uh, function. You can toggle between design view and code view using this uh, tabs over here. So when this button is pressed, what do we want? We want to display one in our output or text area. So for that, in our app we have the handle of the app in the form of app and we want to fetch the text area so we can use tab key to auto complete and we want to set the value of the text area and we put it equal to sign and but we don't want to replace the value we want to concatenate the value so whatever the key is pressed so say for example one is pressed so one should be called two is pressed two should be called something like that so I will use the concatenation concept here. So for that again, first I will fetch the value which is already there in this. 
text area but since it's in a cell format so I will have to use this country bracket and followed by the button which is pressed so that button will be captured by my event option here and it will tell me the source from which it is being called although it's, uh, it's not being autofilled but the source is a area and then the text of the source so yes and followed by semicolon I think this should work let's, let's quickly test yeah, before testing I did a control s and it, uh, it is asking me to save my file so I will save it save example as my calculator dot mlip you can name it my g or something I just name it like that and now let's run and see what happens so oh perfect I press one it so you can see it's concatenating it's because of the second part of the uh, code here because of which it is concatenating it I'll just close it and right now I have not added a callback to the other uh, buttons so I'll do the same for the other callbacks so uh, I'm, I'll just copy this function and add it for the callbacks of say for example button 2 also same thing for button uh, 3 also I, oh nice I, I can use this uh, uh, pop down menu to select the function so for all the buttons one by one I will do the same button 6 button 7 button 8 9 plus for clear button I think I won't do the same thing I will do something different I will uh, I'll leave it for the time being this is I think for a button plus I do the same button minus I do the same and this is for button equal to and how I'm able to figure out is if you see on the over here in the app layout so whichever button I select that particular button gets uh, a bit highlighted so that is how I'm able to make it all so for button clear and button uh, equal to I will need different functions because they do something different so for button clear probably I will name this function as button clear and if you notice it will create a, a new function with my name whatever I have chosen and over here again I try to set the value of the text here but this time since I am trying to clear it I will just put a blank over here so done now I will set the equal to button also so I will do button equal and my equal button came up so in button equal probably what I want is I will like to have the this part of the code as it is but this I am using the splitter to split the code into the two lines because it's getting too long for me to track it in one line and uh, <coughs> so what I want to concatenate is whatever the expression it is there followed by an equal to sign which will be done by this part and then I want to evaluate this expression whatever it is there so I will use the evaluate function and try to evaluate whatever is Mm -hmm. uh, I think I'm, we can copy paste this I was expecting it to get resolved while when I press the uh, uh, tab key but it's not happening I'm not sure why okay so we can evaluate and display but to this evaluate exp function will return me in the numerical format so we have to change it from numerical to string format because my text area is in a string so I will use the num to string function to convert it into a simple uh, string format so that it's, it can be displayed in the text area and then gives an error so done so let me now run this and see how it works so say for example I do 23 this is working fine as expected if I do clear everything gets clear 63 say for example to plus 7 
minus nine minus zero plus one. Now I do equal to n wow. Okay. So I think this expression got evaluated. So sixty three plus seven is seventy. Minus nine is uh, sixty one and plus one sixty two. Yeah, correct. No, I can clear. Do it, play with it again. Plus seven. Yeah, it's working fine. But over here, no, this is no more than expression. So if I press the equal to sign uh, again, it will give some error in my MATLAB. Yeah, the expression to the left of the equal sign is not a valid target for an assignment. This is what I expected. So how can we save these uh, things? Uh, or make it more robust our program so we can use this try catch concept provided by mathworks so i will encapsulate this part of the script into a try catch and in the catch part i will use text area dot value I will probably just print error because to show that yeah, there is something wrong going on and since all the in indentation are wrong I would like to do it correct and for that I will select this part and right click and a smart indent and this should take care of my all the indentation now I think I'm done here. I will play it again and I do a clear works fine equal to error because there was no expression to be done. I do 6 plus 7 13. If I press twice, it gives error. So, no, there is no chance that there will be some exceptions being thrown out of this calculator so our program has become very robust now i can play with this so to start i have to press clear and i can do 23 plus 7 bingo so it seems like our app is working perfectly fine you can save this file and then uh, yeah so this is from that expression which came previously so you can save this file and then your app is ready. Thanks for watching my video and please do watch my other videos as well if you want to know more about MathWorks or MATLAB tools. Thank you. Thanks a lot for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.